What is up? I can't believe you guys are talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. So you live in Michigan? Yep, Lansing, Michigan. Got it. And how old are you? I'm 38 years old. I used to be youth advocate at a community center to keep kids off the streets. You know, I've, I've just always been a people person, but uh, I'm currently on disability. Did something happen physically to make it that way? I, uh, I was leaving for lunch one day and a truck just completely ran the red light. I had four fractured discs and had to wear a turtle shell for a year, have to uh, rehabilitate so I could walk properly, trying to progress to the point where I don't need assistance. I don't want to spend my whole life stuck in bed, you know. It's something I'm working on. It's a work in progress. That's rough. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. so mercy. How did that happen? You know, uh, I, I felt lonely there for a while. I wanted to find somebody. I wanted to find my forever person. And I had pretty much given up on the dating scene because, you know, I'm a big guy and the world's shallow. But then uh, my cousin met her husband online. So I was like, you know, what do you have to lose? Next thing you know, I'm talking to the most amazing, beautiful woman I've ever met in my life. Okay, so did you swipe on her? Yeah, and she responded like immediately and we got to talking and then talking every day since. And is that like on the phone or via text? Via text. What's Mercy's deal? She lives in California. She's from Torrance, California. Uh, she moved here from Italy uh, when she was 19. What parts of her story do you believe and what parts of her story do you not believe? I mean, I believe she is the person in the photographs. Every morning she sends me a picture blowing me a kiss. I literally have like 50, 60 photos of her. And are they pictures like, can't like regular everyday pictures or are they like? Yeah, they look like, you know, I, uh, lounging in the house. How serious is your relationship at this point? Honestly, I think she could be the one. I even went to so much as to get a ring. A ring? Wow. A, a ring. Do you have the receipt? I do. <laughs> I was that smart. Do you have it with you? I do have it with me. We want to see. I don't know if you could see that. Aww. That's nice. That's a hefty size. Yeah. Let's just hope it goes to good use. Wow. That's why I am extremely nervous. I am barely old not here. <laughs> She's the first thing I think about when I wake up in the morning. She's the last person I think about when I go to bed at night. When I dream, I dream of her. You know, I dream of our life together, what it'll be like. I'm just, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh my God. So Adam, uh, tell us about this video call you had. You said that there's been a glare, almost as if she's holding another video up to the camera. Yeah, like the first oh, Hold on, sorry, I have to, I have to just go over here for a second. My son is here. Oh, there he is. That's exactly what it looked like. So immediately I was like, what's going on? Where is it? I knew it. <laughs> I knew she was coming with those red flags. <laughs> Have you guys tried to make plans to meet up? We had discussed going on a cruise. It came around to time for us to go and she said her mom had ended up getting sick and she needed money for medicine. Oh boy. She was like, it's $460. What did you say? I told her, I don't feel comfortable sending money and we've never met. Ding, ding, ding. Right answer. But I can come bring you the money. She said, okay. She gave me her address and told me to come through. So you never sent the money and you obviously you never went to California, right? No. But you guys continue talking. Yeah, we talk every day. So if, if she were building you up, as part of just a scam to get money from you, presumably after you didn't send it, she would have likely stopped talking to you. That's that's where I'm laying at because we talk every day. So I'm like, man, like literally if I went through my text, you'd see like a million texts. Why don't you show us the messages? All right, there we go. Uh-huh. These are the daily selfies. Different times and different places. 
But my question is why WhatsApp? When we first started talking, she said, I have WhatsApp, Facebook, or an Instagram. I don't have Instagram, so I decided on WhatsApp. A couple weeks after that, I went back to add her Facebook profile, and the profile was gone. Interesting. I don't know. The way love makes you feel, you tend to look past things that you would normally become skeptical to it's just because that person makes you feel so comfortable. I'm at the point where I'm like, if she's just not the girl who's in the picture, but it's still a girl who's into me for me, I can, I can get over that. I can get past that. It may take some time, but I mean, love has no boundaries. Well, we have work to do. So that means you guys are gonna help? Yeah, just send $460 to yeah. P.O. Box uh, 11775. <laughs> send us everything you have, and hopefully we'll have something for you soon. All right, thanks a lot, you guys. Thanks, Adam. I don't think I've ever liked anyone on the show more than Adam. Adam is so sweet. He's such a great guy, and there's something very weird about this girl, for sure. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't yeah. seem like she's only in it for money because she would have given up a long time ago. There's got to be some actual interest in him, but he's just really, really hoping somehow there's a version of this that could work. And maybe there is. This is about to get very interesting. We've never had two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on. 